this video, I like to do a little bit of introduction on using the, the drum, not just for meditations and trance work and having fun and uh, playing in a band or whatever, but uh, we've also found that this works very, very, very effectively for giving vibrational type massages, very similar to a klang shala or singing bowl massage. Uh, think of it as maybe nine singing bowls in one drum. And so we do this by laying the drum onto the person or the client in different positions. Uh, the client leaves their clothes on, uh, although uh, because it's better to have a little bit of cloth between the drum and the skin. Uh, if it's laid directly on the skin, it tends to maybe, if they get a little sweaty, it tends to stick. So we always have something there uh, between the drum and the skin. I have found uh, through my experience in giving many, many vibe drum massages that um, the lower notes tend to work really good on muscle groups. So if you've got somebody that's got like a sore back or a shoulder or a knee or something and it's more of a muscle pain, then I tend to try to lay the lowest note, which I believe is this one, this one here, um, on uh, right directly on. Uh, the part that's hurting. So if it's like the left shoulder, you know, I'll kind of get it, you know, that way, okay? Um, also, I found that the higher notes tend to work really good on energy, on the organs, and also for stimulating uh, chakras and releasing energy from the chakras, uh, as well as kind of clearing out your meridian lines. So I always lay the high notes um, in some type of a vertical position to the body. So straight up and down, or you can lay it this way, depending on where you want to position the, the large note for, for muscle problems. So I always have the high notes laying, you know, vertically and horizontally across the body uh, for energy stimulation, which seems to work very, very effectively. Okay? Um, you don't need to worry about it. You don't need to be a musician or a drummer or a percussionist to play, uh, but what you do need to do is speak to your client and find out where they're having problems. Um, if they're having problems in their back, for example, their upper back around their shoulder, then you shouldn't just put it on the back and play it, but you also should put it up here on the chest so that the vibrations go through this way and then come from the back to that way, and that way it gets both sides of the muscles, uh, and it works really good that way. We found it works uh, very good for, uh, for uh, cramps down in this area by laying it down here on the stomach. Uh, in another part, I will show you the, the drum positions and how we play it. Okay, so that's a little bit of an intro to a vibe drum massage. You don't have to have a training. You don't have to be a professional. You don't need a certificate. You just need a little practice and some friends or a partner to practice on and get some feedback from them and see what they like and what they don't like. The main thing is, is when I first started doing these, I tended to be hitting the drum too hard and I found that it was just too intensive for many of the people. So I have now softened it up and I don't hit it quite so hard. Uh, and I have a certain pattern that I usually try to open with and I'll show you that in the next bit.